Okay, hey, welcome back. I got a little fancy with my eye makeup today. You guys like it? <laughs> uh, today, I'm very excited to talk with you guys because it has been about three months uh, since I started this YouTube channel and so much has happened and it's been such an incredible experience so far. Um, but I wanted to take a moment today and give you guys a little bit of an update on the channel and my life and what's going on um, and kind of give you a heads up as to what you can expect for the next couple of months. So grab a beverage if you don't have one and then let's get started. Okay, so, uh, wow, what a three months, you guys. <laughs> um, starting this channel was a little bit of a leap of faith. It was something that I kind of wanted to do for a little while um, because I have just really admired the way that um, YouTube can be used as a medium to bring people together um, and bring in new friends to a community um, and, and really just build like, you know, a, a circle of friends um, and, and chosen family. And um, so that was kind of, you know, my hope and my vision for this channel was was to really work towards doing that. And and you guys have delivered. It's been great. Um, we're, uh, as of this morning, we had about 113 subscribers, which is I think pretty good growth for the first couple of months. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not looking to like go viral or anything like that, um, but I'm really excited about the sort of steady organic growth that um, we've seen with new people finding the channel and people sharing the channel with their friends um, and, you know, more and more people showing up to every live stream, which is great. And, you know, the more friends, the merrier, right? So thank you guys all for all of your support for liking the videos and commenting and sharing um, and subscribing all of that really does help the channel grow so really I owe that all to you know to you guys um, my you know the members of this community um, and um, thank you and please keep doing it <laughs> so, um, <laughs> um, but yeah so let's do a little bit of a check-in shall we um, Today is the 2nd of May, and it is the first writing day in May for me um, on, um, you know, my current work in progress, which the working title is The Queen's Fixer, and it's a new space opera project that I'm developing for Chris Kennedy Publishing. And um, uh, as of today, I think I broke, I know I broke 55,000 words. Um, I think I'm right at about 55,000 words. I kind of have to do the last little bit of math. And I might actually get a couple of more sprints in today because, um, you know, I'm kind of in that groove, that part of the story where it's just really flowing and the characters are talking to me and it's, you know, getting exciting, doing some some action scenes, some intrigue scenes and stuff. So um, I'm just really vibing with it and which is good because I have one month left to finish the story. <laughs> so word count wise, I'm a little bit past the middle. Story wise, I'm, I'm right there too. Um, I can finish the story uh, if I, you know, put my big girl panties on and uh, meet my word counts for the rest of the month. Um, uh, but you know, it, it's it, it will require that. Um, so that's my intent is to, you know, make good on my promises and, um, and finish it up uh, by the end of the month. Now, why, you may ask yourself, self, why is the end of the month so important? It's not like Casey's never missed a deadline before, which you'd be right. <laughs> but the, uh, the end of the month, uh, in case you don't know, is important because on June 2nd, I will have my retirement ceremony from the United States Air Force. And that will, I, I was going to say that will kick off a, su a series of events, um, but the truth is that those series of events will already be well in motion by the time. So, um, because on, uh, on June 2nd is my retirement ceremony. And then, um, that following week is, um, my kiddo's last day of school here, uh, on Yakota at, um, her elementary school. And then the following week after that, we are on a plane, um, to the United States. Uh, we will be very sad to say goodbye to Japan, but we are very excited to come home again and be close to all of our friends and family. Um, yeah, including you guys. So, um, so that's that's kind of what the like end of the month deadline is all about right now if i don't meet it does that mean you know it's all over story goes nowhere no of course not i will continue working you know and until the story is done um but um if you've ever moved you know that 
it's very difficult to get structured writing time or structured time to do anything while you're, you know, uprooting your lives and moving, you know, even just to the next town over, let alone across the country or, or across the world in our case. So, um, so yeah, so that's, that's kind of what the, the motivation is for trying to get this particular novel done by the end of the month. So then what? Well, once it's done, I go to work on the sequel <laughs> um, because uh, uh, I wouldn't expect to see this one released until um, we have the rest of the, the books and at least the first trilogy. Um, yes, I did say first. There's room for lots. And that's all I'm going to say about that right now. So you're, in, you're welcome for that tease. Um, but... Uh, yeah, we're probably not going to do, it's not scheduled to be released yet because we want to be able to take advantage of the momentum of kind of a rapid release strategy. Um, so more to follow on that. But I am, I think you guys are really going to like this one. Um, and I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to get in there and finish it. So, um, so yeah, so good progress. Um, working to catch up and, um, yeah, pretty happy, pretty happy with the current work in progress. The other bit I wanted to mention on the writing front is if you didn't know, um, I have recently put up one of my previously published short stories. It is now available on Amazon for a dollar, under a dollar, 99 cents. <laughs> so um, it's called Unintended Consequences by Casey Ezel. Um, I will put a link in the description of this video. You guys can go check it out if you haven't already. But um, yeah, it's uh, it was originally published in last summer in Craig Martell's um, The Expanding Universe Volume 7. Now, the thing about the Expanding Universe um, anthologies is that they're only available for a short period of time, like three months, and then Craig unpublishes them, returns all of the rights to the creators, you know, for, for them to do whatever they want with the story. Um, so I decided to publish mine. Now, it is not in Kindle Unlimited, and you may be asking yourself, well, why not? Well, the reason it's not in Kindle Unlimited is because I also gave that story uh, for free to the members of my newsletter, um, the which I call the Cool Kids Table, <laughs> because clearly that's who we are, is the Cool Kids, right? So, um, uh, yeah, so if you are a member of the Cool Kids Table, congratulations. You should already have had an email um, in your inbox with a link to that um, a download link for book funnel for you to be able to download that story completely for free. Um, if you're not a member of my newsletter, I would love it if you would join. Um, but if you just want to check out the story, that's cool too. It's available on Amazon for 99 cents. Um, and I would love it if you would check that out. Or if you, if you liked it, please share it with your friends. Please, please, please write a review. That would be amazing. Um, I don't currently have any reviews on it and I would love, 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 love to have some. So, um, so that's available too for you to go and check out on the writing front. Um, let's see. So that's, that was one thing I wanted to update you guys on is, you know, where are we in, um, in writing world? <laughs> it's a place. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, the kind of the second thing I wanted to talk about is, um, I mentioned I'm, that I'm retiring from the Air Force. Um, yeah, guys, 23 years it will be. In fact, uh, interesting footnote the 2nd of june um, which is the day that my retirement ceremony will happen is actually 23 years to the day from the day that i was commissioned a second lieutenant in the united states air force um back on june 2nd 1999 last century <laughs> so <laughs> um yeah it's it's mind-blowing i'm i'm not gonna lie to you this piece of my identity, you know, as an Air Force officer um, that has been so central to who I am and it's been the reason why I've been where I've been, why I've met the people that I've met, you know, why I've been able to write the stories that I've been able to write is all be in large part because of my service in, in, in the Air Force. And the idea that that is, that that chapter is coming to a close, I don't think has really fully hit me yet, but um, it's... It's certainly something that's on my mind that, you know, it's um, it, it's big. It's heavy stuff. Last Thursday, uh, I had what's known in the Air Force as my Finney flight. The tradition of the Finney flight is that um, the person who is retiring or separating or, you know, whatever, leaving. You do it at, like there's you have like mini Finney, mini Finneys. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> this is just a good time. Um, there, uh, you do a Finney flight every time you leave a unit, but your your 
big finny flight is when you like are leaving the Air Force. You're going on to do other things, whether that be civilian flying or um, you know, no longer flying or whatever else it is that you're going to go do. So my finny flight was this last Friday, uh, last Thursday, and we had a really great time. We went um, down the Izu Peninsula in Tokyo and did some sightseeing up over Lake Hakone and um, came back up the beach down to Kamakura and then up alongside Yokohama and Yokohama Bay um, and then landed in Tokyo. Went to lunch in Tokyo at an amazing restaurant. It's called Godpachi. It was um it was the restaurant that inspired the the restaurant scene in Kill Bill, um, the movie by Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> so it's a lot smaller, but it's very, very cool. And the food was delicious. Um, and then, uh, you know, after that, we just uh, headed back, headed back into um, to Yakota. But when you land from your Finney flight, one of the traditions is that you get hosed down by champagne um, and your family comes out and it's a big celebration and stuff. So it was very, very touching. I was super happy to... Um, have had some great friends along with me that day because you get to pick your crew. Um, and um, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. And I was very, very touched. Retirement ceremony is going to be a really good time. But um, it's also going to be bittersweet because some of the people that mean the most to me in the world won't be able to be there because I'm in Japan, you know. So, um, but We'll take a lot of pictures. Um, I may try to do, I may try to set up some kind of Skype thing. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I'm, it, it's something that I'm looking forward to. And it's also something that requires a little bit of logistical planning on the front end, <laughs> which let me tell you, that stuff is starting to heat up right now. Um, I woke up the uh, yesterday, actually, on the 1st of May and had no idea it was the 1st of May until about halfway through the day. And then I was like, Oh no, <laughs> because May, you guys, my May calendar is ridiculous. You know, there's so much happening, so much going on. Um, we have movers coming on the 25th of May to pick up all our stuff and take it, take it away and move it to, you know, put it on a boat for the United States. Um, we, we just bought a, uh, <laughs> We just bought a little mini truck. It's, um, I'll see if I can't insert a picture here, but, um, it's, it's a Suzuki carry and these little trucks, you guys, they're everywhere here in Japan. They're super cute and they're actually really useful. Um, they don't have a lot of power. <laughs> so it's not exactly like an American, like, you know, big ball pickup truck. It's, it's very like, <laughs> very moderate, <laughs> but, uh, but super useful. Um, and easy just really wanted one. So, um, we bought one and uh, we're going to ship it home. Um, and so we have to get, you know, get that all all taken care of, get all the paperwork squared away for that so that we can, um, you know, take it to the port and um, and have it shipped so it can be waiting for us there when we um, when we get back to Virginia. So so that's got to happen. Uh, you know, we've got to get like vet appointments for the cat and doctor's appointments for me and the kids. And I'm still doing my VA appointments. So. There is a lot happening, a lot going on right now um, in my life. And it's it's really like it's only going to get busier until June 15th when I get on the plane at, in Narita Airport. And then we're going to land in the U.S. And I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> you know? I mean, I, I kind of know some things, right? I know that I'm going to go, you know, take a couple weeks and go see my mom. And I know that I'm going to spend some time with my dad and my stepmom and with, you know, my, my father-in-law and my sister-in-law there in Virginia. I know I'm going to see my, my oldest kiddo who's um, out in the U.S. In, in college right now. I'm excited about all of that. But I'm not entirely sure, like, I, I know mostly what order these things are going to happen, but there's a lot of, like fill in the space in between that I don't know exactly what that's going to be like, <laughs> right? Um, so a lot of uncertainty. Um, I may get a job. I may not. I, I don't know. Um, we are building a house. The house will be ready sometime in July or August for us to close on and move into. So we're very excited about that. Um, but, you know, again, that's that's as specific as the builder can be with us is July or August, just because there's so much uncertainty and so much that we don't know. But I'm really looking forward to, I mean, this whole thing's like one big adventure, right? You know, for the first time in my life, it's it's just us, just the family doing what we want to do. Um, like for the first time since I was like six, you guys, because my parents were also in the military. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, big changes, big changes. Um, 
Also in May, coming up, let me backtrack a little bit to talk about how crazy busy May is. You know, it's also one of the other things I'm really like feeling a lot of lately is that I only have like a month left here in Japan in this beautiful, amazing country. And there's so much that I never got to see, so much I'm not unfortunately going to get to see because, you know, like I never got, I never made it to Okinawa, um, you know, because mostly because of COVID travel restrictions, which everybody understands. But, you know, I would like to go to Okinawa, you know, I would like to go to Kyoto and Osaka and um, spend more time all the way up in Hokkaido. Hokkaido was beautiful the one weekend that I spent there. Um, You know, there's, there's just, there's a bunch that, that we just didn't ever get to do. And, um, and at the same time, you know, I'm not the only one going through these changes, right? Like it's, it's affecting my family too. My, my youngest kiddo is moving away from all of her friends. She's nine years old and that's always a difficult thing to do. Um, moving back to the United States to an area she doesn't really know very well. Um, you know, and, uh, and an area that won't have the same sort of like, intense community vibe. I mean, I think that it'll have a great vibe. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm excited about the community we're moving to. But I've talked about this on this channel before, how when you live overseas on a military base with a bunch of other people who are connected with the military, also living on this, you know, also not from this country, there's a bonding that happens. And, and the community is forced to be very tight because of those shared experiences and the, the shared feeling of being you know, a, a foreigner in, you know, in a, in a new land, in a new place. Um, and she's not going to have that, at, you know, in, in our new neighborhood. Um, now, we'll be a new neighborhood, so she won't hopefully be the new, the only new kid there. But, um, you know, she's she's got a lot going on, too. And my husband's excited. We're moving back close to his family and friends. But, you know, he's got a lot of uncertainty, too. Is he about, you know, when are we going to be able to move into the house? What's, you know, what's he going to do when we get there? Is, is he going to go back to school? Is he going to go to work? Is he going to stay at home and, and continue, you know, being a homemaker with, with um, our kiddo? All of that is to say that um, my priority is and always has been my family first. And um, during the month of May, we've got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, my youngest is playing softball. And that's why I missed my live stream last week, for which I do apologize. But uh, it's kind of a sorry, not sorry type situation because, you know, she's my kid, right? I'm going to go I'm going to go watch her play softball. Um, and uh, we've got a couple more away games this um, this month coming up um, on the weekends. They're all on Saturday, of course. <laughs> and uh, and there's also like there's some other stuff we want to do. We're going to go to a sumo tournament. Um, there's one more thing that we're going to do before we leave Japan. Uh, just you know, so that we can, we can have that experience before we go. Um, and there's a, like, there's a big, uh, festival, it's called Friendship Festival, where the military base here opens its gates and allows, like, you know, local Japanese civilians to come on and, and, um, you know, there's like food booths and music and there's aircraft demonstrate, well, not really demonstrations, but like flybys, I guess, um, and static displays and stuff. It's, it's like an air show, but without like all of the air show, the aerial, demonstrations really it's a lot of fun um i went to one when i first got here before covid happened and it was it was phenomenal it was a great time um and so they're finally that's finally coming back and we're going to go to that as well um but all of that means that i will probably only be able to do one live stream maybe two this month and so i just wanted to let you guys know that i have not forgotten about you <laughs> but these these next couple of months are going to be very busy for me and for my family so and i've been trying to keep to a schedule and I've, I've done a pretty fair job of it i think i only missed one week where i, I wasn't able to do this but I've, I've been trying to keep to two videos per week that's going to go down to one video a week um just because of of everything that's going on and most of them will be pre-recorded videos like this one i am going to do a live stream on um what day is it that's coming up this coming up the first <laughs> the first saturday in may um i think it's the seventh i am going to attempt to do a live stream there however i won't be in japan um i am also flying back to minot north dakota this weekend to 
um, perform a retirement ceremony for m one of my best friends um, who is also retiring this month. Um, her name is Leah Brantner, and she's a phenomenal flight engineer, fantastic NCO, and uh, she's served 20 years in the military and is is also moving on. So it's like, you know, <laughs> we've been following each other around the Air Force, and now we're following each other into retirement. So it's, it's like it's meant to be. Um, but I was super honored to when she asked me to be her retiring officer. Um, so I'm, that's what I'm doing this weekend is, uh, is going to do that. Now I'm going to try and do, um, I thought you guys might enjoy seeing a travel blog, um, about, you know, international travel and what that's like. So I'm going to try to do that. And then, uh, and then I'm going to try to do a live stream from, um, from where I'm staying at Minot, um, on, it'll still be on Friday night at 8 PM Eastern. So like 6 PM North Dakota time, I think there's central time. I'm not sure. I think they're central time. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll be, it, it'll be 8 p.m. Eastern time, whatever that equates to, wherever you are. <laughs> so, um, but I'll hop on for a little bit and um, hopefully get a chance to talk with you guys and um, explain a little bit, you know, if you have other questions about uh, what's coming up, um, I'll be able to explain it a little bit more then. So with that, let's talk a little bit about where I want to take this channel in the future. Um, like I said, for the next month or two, um, we're going to have hopefully about a video a week. Um, it may get a little dicey in there when I'm uh, right around the middle of June, but um, I'm going to I'm going to continue to try to keep to the one video a week schedule. Uh, at some point in July or August, I'll be moving into my new house, as I said, and um, after I get moved into that new house and we get, you know, most of the way unpacked and I get my setup all arranged, which means that it'll be after my household goods arrive, which again, I have no idea when that's going to be. Um, <laughs> but at some point after all of that, um, I am going to come back to doing the two videos a week schedule, whereas one of them is a, a weekly live stream. And then, um, and then the other one is like a you know, something else, pre-recorded video. Um, I, I want to get back to doing my co-authors videos. I want to talk to some of the senior authors that I've worked with um, and do some, you know, some kind of mass, you know, master, not really master class, but senior author series of videos. Um, and, and there's some other stuff I want to do too. Uh, one of the great things about coming back to the United States is that I will once again be able to do one of my favorite things in the entire world, which is to attend science fiction and fantasy conventions. Um, so I would love to bring you guys along with me and do some convention vlogs. Um, you know, kind of uh, not just after action reports, but, you know, actual footage, you know, walking around the convention, taking pictures of of cool cosplays and maybe doing some panels. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but so that's that's something that I um, that I want to get started doing. Uh, in addition to that, um, I thought you guys might like to see, you know, some of the uh, process of setting up a new house, moving into the new house. Um, I'll definitely give you guys a, a video tour of my empty house if you'd like and maybe again once again after <laughs> after we've got all our stuff. I showed you guys my writing spaces here and um, I will link that video somewhere wherever it is. <laughs> I always forget where the cards go uh, but I'll put it in the card and I'll link the video in the description below uh, so you guys can check that out if you haven't seen it yet but um, once I get my new writing space set up I'll give you, I'll do an update video on that. And, um, you know, I, I want to continue to document this, this transition, um, even when, once it's no longer a transition, you know, even once it's just moving into kind of the new flow of life in this next chapter. <laughs> so if you have suggestions or, um, of specific types of videos that you'd like to see or topics that you think I, you'd like me to cover. Um, you know, I, I thought about, I'd like to do some readings for you, uh, some live, well, not really live, but recorded readings for you here on the channel. Uh, maybe some cool snippets. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, any, you know, any kind of requests like that, put them in the comments below or shoot me an email. Um, I'd love to hear your ideas. I, this community, this channel is a, a part of the community for all of us. And so I really want to know what kind of content you guys would like to see um, to help continue building that going forward. I just want to close this video um, by saying thank you, thank you, thank you once again for the amazing support that you guys have given to me with this channel, with my books, um, with you know building this community. 
um, joining the newsletter, chatting in the Discord, all of that. It just, it means the world to me. And um, I, I couldn't ask for better friends <laughs> than, than all of you, really, honestly. Um, you just, you warm my heart and, um, and you know, you make, every, you make doing this fun. And um, I really, really appreciate that. So I'd like to invite you, if you like this video, please give me that Chuck Yeager thumbs up and um, hit the notification bell so that you know when my new videos are coming up, even though it's not gonna be two of them every week, it's gonna be one. <laughs> so um, yeah, I just, uh, you know, share the love, let people know if you're if you're enjoying this content. Um, you know, invite, invite other cool people into our community because that's what it's all about, so. All right, I will close it here. Um, I will talk to you guys hopefully this, uh, sorry, this Friday night. And then I'll try to, like I said, I'll, I'll get some footage and post a, hopefully post a travel vlog for you sometime next week about my, my whirlwind trip to Minot, North Dakota and back. <laughs> all right, once again, thank you so much. Um, sending you all the love and I will talk to you soon.